I just want to offer a alternate way of looking at the collective unconscious uh, in the Jungian sense. And rather than thinking of it as a repository for uh, archetypes and symbols and stuff that we're not present of in our intellectual sphere, think of it as those things themselves. In other words, the actual manifestation of those things that we are not conscious of our connections with in a moment. And so, for example, um, my notes. I mean, you're, you've got you've got symbols on here. I don't know if it's going to focus. I don't think it is. There we go. Um, you got the symbols written on there. Um, and you know, while I was talking a second ago, I wasn't necessarily in touch with what the symbols were. But the symbols and the archetypes exist. They're they're physical things, even though our mind can't resolve something like an archetype into all of its protrusions, you know, throughout our culture. You know, you've got the king archetype or the uh, warrior archetype. And while, you know, we don't always see that one of, one of those pieces or components or concepts when we, um, we're we working with an idea or a thought, the, um, the, the, the actual thing itself is what created the archetype. It, it, is, it isn't separate from the archetype. In other words, the, the king archetype is connected to the kings, and the warrior archetype is connected to the warriors. And so the magician archetype is connected to magicians.